Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, 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 family. How y'all doing today? I want to welcome you to the mental house first and foremost. This place I call the sane asylum without walls, right? Um, I don't know if it's worse inside of these institutions of mental clarity than it is outside, just walking down the street. So I want you to protect yourself. I want you to know that we are um, working and encountering a, just a lot of bad energy, bad karma, hypocrites, demonic energies, and they have increased in their destruction of, um, I guess, our sanity. I've never remember a time where every day people woke up and they had to hear how this government is actually um, hiding a terrorist, pretty much a traitor to the nation, a what did my friend call him? Um, she didn't call him an insurrectionist. She uh, she called him, uh, God, what did you call Benedict Arnold? Not a, not a, it was, it was a little bit harder than traitor. That's the word she used for Donald Trump. And, you know, for somebody to sit in front of us and tell us if they were ever, I mean, he, he bold enough to tell us uh, that if he was ever president again, you know, what he would do to people that protest, to people that, I mean, this guy has got the playbook of Mussolini, Adolf Hitler. And I remember being a kid wondering how, because I told you my father had that book, This Will Never Happen Again. And I would see these piles and piles of Jewish people in Auschwitz and all these other concentration camps. They were dead, and they had dug these big, massive graves. And I, I was like, Dad, how could, uh, that, what, is, what is this? Because I was young. I was a kid, and I couldn't understand man's inhumanity to man. Well, now I've gotten a lot older, and I can see a lot clearer. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I mean, really. And it has gotten to the point is I want to know, when you see madness on the horizon, because as a kid, like I said, I always wondered, how could the German people sit back and allow Hitler to um, cook up all that propaganda about the Jewish people, how could he, and how could they allow him, what 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 was the mindset when he started going in, pulling people out of houses, I always wondered, and I always wanted to ask them, what the fuck was y'all thinking, how could you let somebody do that, I never thought as an adult, I would be asking myself these same questions, you got a group of people called MAGA, who should really, really be dismantled by any means necessary. Because if it was a bunch of black people out there doing that, acting like that, not willing to accept, uh, let, they would lock us up, put us all in a warehouse someplace. Because it's clearly insane. Some of the stories these people say and some of the reasons, it's just insanity. And so are they afraid that they'll it'll, it'll become a full-fledged riot? Well, it's damn near that anyway. And whatever happens, you might have to expedite it because you can't govern a society like this. You, I believe that you don't already let the cat out the, uh, out the jar. You squeeze the toothpaste out the tube, and there's no way it's going back. So it's going to have to be destroyed. That's the, For all intents and purposes, that's what it looks like. And for mainstream media, to really um, 
continue with the propaganda. They love this. This is what they work for. So it leads me to further know that the media is not your friend. They are disinformation agencies that give you half-truths. That's why they hate the Internet so much. Is the big news, Zabrinsky said, hey, it used to be easier to control a million people than to kill them. But nowadays, it's, you have to kill a million people because they're not believing shit we say. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Now, I, I didn't use his words verbatim, but y'all get the picture. People have become wise now. And the pandemic um, opened up a lot of doors, opened up a lot of things. But I also know that this is the dawning of, a, of the Aquarian age. Uh, this is the destruction of all that is old and bitter and uh, bombastic. It's time for it to leave and usher in a new a new um, era. Because we know that America is a corporation, always have been, uh, Donald Trump is not, he answers to the crown. So, He's just a figurehead. And who wants to turn this stuff back? The queen and all. That's who wants this to go back to where it used to be. Like, make it like it was. They love that. The old days. Give me the old days. Where we could just burn Negroes at the stake and uh, run around and do the thing. That's the days that they consider nostalgia. So there's a group of sickies on the planet, and they not they not nowhere ashamed of it. And all I can say, and I'm, cause I'm not gonna be on here long, uh, I try to stay out this politics stuff because it's too sick. It's way too sick. And the more you stick your hand down in the rabbit hole, you like, oh no, this is just a cesspool of madness. I don't even know where to start. It's demonic. Like Donald Trump. And whatever he's, they letting him usher in um, is what they want. His father was a Klansman. We all know that. So when you hear all this Klansman uh, rhetoric like vermin and all that. See, he got that from his daddy. See, his him and his dad uh, worked very hard to discriminate against black people trying to rent. That's why I say it, black people who vote for Donald Trump. Let's just start right there. They are the most sickest, self-hating, um, and I'm not saying that they should vote for Joe Biden. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if they vote for Donald Trump, who's a known Klansman, who's, fa who's telling you what I'm going to do. All that white, all his cabinet, everybody in there was white except Omarosa, and they kicked her ass out. And you would tell me because you gave him $2,000 and he pardoned you, he's, it's worth your vote. Y'all should be ostracized from the black community if you come back with that, with all of y'all. That Kodak Black, yo, that monster, the rest of y'all. Uh, I'm going to call you all out. Little Wayne, the little creature looking dude, all of y'all. Because you're ignorant and you stupid. And you're not even well read at all. Yeah, I said it. And you're full of self hatred. Every time you ask them something, them ignorant niggas say real stupid stuff like, "Oh, I don't, I don't believe in no racism. Uh, ain't nobody ever been no race." That type of stuff. Those type of I call them niggers. What, well, what, well, what else should I do, massa? When you're dealing with those type of energies you know and as a black person all you can do is know Willie Lynch told the truth he said they'll be perpetually miserable if you implement what I'm telling you to do today these people will be no good for themselves and nobody else and that seems to be the truth so I just want to say for those of y'all black folk who think that Donald Trump is really worth voting for you're sick just as well as he's sick. If anybody don't know that he's sick, 
the sad part about America is you can't get all the mental health professionals to be able to make good assessments. They, you don't have to have somebody sitting right in front of you to say, well, I can make it. Damn it, that's what you went to school for. Okay? You see them sweating. You see them talking crazy. You see them being narcissistic. You see them being total uh, dictator. And then, and then they say stuff like, well, we have to have him inside before we can do a diagnosis. Look, this is the cesspool. And anything that's built on destruction, lies, and thievery and murder, God is going to have the last say. The universe is going to have the last say. Let's just make it good. Let's just make it good for those people who are innocent, those who are righteous, who love truth, who love um, humanity. Let us prevail. And that's my rant for the day. If you like what you hear, y'all please like and subscribe to my channel. If you don't like what I said, disagree. And leave your comments so we can have some dialogue. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that converse with me in your own ways, whether it's through email or putting them on a page. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.